Welcome to this week's Forge tutorial. This week we'll be showing you how to make your own toolbox out of a 1x4 or whatever scrap wood you have lying around. For this project you'll need a saw, I'm using a miter saw and miter box, but any saw should do, a drill with a 1 inch paddle bit if using a 1 inch dowel rod, if not use a appropriate bit, a speed square and measuring tape to mark our pieces along with a pen or pencil, a hammer and some nails. This project will use 12 nails, though I have more than that here just in case. A dowel rod for your handle and of course a piece of wood for the toolbox itself, in this case a 1x4 or something similar. You will also need a few clamps. Two clamps might cut it, four clamps is better. You can never have too many clamps. Finally, a little sandpaper to clean up the rough spots at the end. For this project, you'll need a four foot long piece of one by four or other lumber. This is actually scrap plywood that I'm using, but the dimensions are roughly the same. I'm gonna break this four foot long piece into four one foot sections using my tape measure. Then I'll take the speed square and quickly draw a straight line that I know is perfectly square. These will be our sawing lines when we start breaking down our board. Now it's time to break our piece of wood down into four pieces. So I'm going to use a miter box and miter saw here, but really you could use whatever kind of saw you have lying around, as long as you clamp your piece down so that you get a nice straight line as you saw. Continue to break down the entire board until you have four one foot long pieces. Then we're going to take one of these one foot long pieces and break it down into two six inch pieces. So using my speed square, as you see here, I quickly mark that six inch point and draw another nice straight square line, move it to my miter box and saw this piece in half again. Now we've got all the pieces that will make up the actual box. So now we can create the handle of the toolbox. Go ahead and mark a 12 inch section of the dowel rod that you're using. Place it back in the miter box and saw this section off. With our handle done, we're ready to move on to dry fitting our box. So we'll just stack all the pieces together to make sure they actually fit. The two six inch pieces will go on top of the base while the two 12 inch sides will sit flush with the bottom of the base. Before we can start nailing this together, however, we do need to make two holes in our six inch pieces for the handle. Start by finding the vertical midpoint of your six inch pieces. And once you have that, you'll use your speed square to draw a nice square straight line bisecting this piece vertically, like so. Do that with both pieces. Now turn one of the pieces horizontally and mark one inch in from either side. Once you've made that one inch mark, you can use your speed square to draw another square straight line across this piece of wood again. When you're done, you should have a T or cross-like pattern at one end of each of your six inch pieces, like so. The point at this intersection that we've just drawn is going to be the place where we drill. So you can see me lining that up here. With my drill, I'm going to hold my workpiece in my hand. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, clamp it down. And I'm going to drill about one quarter of an inch deep, making sure that my piece fits occasionally and it's not too deep or too shallow. Do this for both of your six inch pieces and your handle holes are ready to go. Now that all of our pieces are complete and ready to go, I'd like to do another quick dry fit just to make sure that everything will fit nice and snug. Then we're ready to move on to hammering. Because this is a light duty toolbox, we're just going to use hammer and nails. If you want to make this stronger, feel free to use a drill and some wood screws. First, we'll start by clamping one of our long side pieces to the base piece. Do this on each side and make sure that it is clamped down and nice and secure. Then either carefully hold or place this in a table vise and hammer one nail into the right side of the piece and one into the left, holding these two pieces together. 
Next, simply repeat this process on the other side with the other 12 inch long side piece. At this point, your toolbox should look a little something like this. Now we'll move on to adding the six inch pieces on the sides. Start with whichever side you want, it doesn't really matter here, and it should be a little tight, so you might have to push this piece down. Once you're satisfied with the fit, go ahead and turn your workpiece on its side and start by adding a nail at the top of this section. Then we'll add one on the other side at the top before adding the bottom nails. All told, you should now have four nails hammered in holding that side piece in place. Now we'll repeat this process with the other side piece, making sure to sandwich our handle in before actually nailing the other side piece down. Use the same process of putting the two top nails in first, then adding the bottom nails. By adding the top nails first, we can still kind of wiggle that piece out and in a little bit for the best alignment. Again, you should have just added four nails for that final side. The final step is to take some sandpaper and clean up any rough edges or frayed bits of your toolbox. And there you have it. Clean up your workspace using your brand new toolbox and congratulations. And feel free to customize your toolbox with paint or other embellishments like this handle made out of some found bamboo. After all, it's your toolbox, so get creative. Thanks for watching, have fun, and keep making.